Uh, this text, written in collaboration with Kells Elvins in 1938, commemorates the first appearance of Dr. Benway. <clears throat> it's called uh, Twilight's Last Gleamings. The SS America off Jersey Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no cause for alarm. We have a minor problem in the boiler room, but everything is now under uh, sound effects of a nuclear blast. Explosion splits the boat. Dr. Benway ships doctor drunkenly added two inches to a four inch incision with one stroke of his scalpel. Perhaps the appendix is already out, doctor, the nurse said. <laughs> And peering dubiously over his shoulder, I saw a little scar. The appendix already out. I'm taking the appendix out. What do you think I'm doing here? <clears throat> Perhaps the appendix is on the left side, doctor. That happens sometimes, you know. Stop breathing down my neck. I'm coming to that. Don't you think I know where an appendix is? I studied appendectomy in 1904 at Harvard. He lifts the abdominal wall and searches along the incision, dropping ashes from his cigarette. <clears throat> Get me a new scalpel. This one's got no edge to it. He thrusts a red fist at her. The doctor reels back and flattens against the wall, a bloody scalpel clutched in one hand. The, the patient slides off the operating table, spilling intestines across the floor. <laughs> Dr. Benway sweeps instruments, cocaine, and morphine into his satchel. Sour up. I can't be expected to work under such conditions. <laughs> By the dawn's early light, Dr. Benway pushed through a crowd at the rail and boarded the first lifeboat. Are you all right, he said, seating himself among the women. I'm the doctor. Thank you.